Okay, good morning, folks. We have here in this box a folding sunshade for the Super Duty for the F-250. Now, in full disclosure up front with y'all, this company was nice enough to send this to me for free. Didn't have to pay anything for it. Just they want me to give um, my honest review of this and what I think. And so I don't mind doing that for folks. If you have a product or something like that that you want me to look at, <laughs> I know I don't have a huge following or anything right now. But I'm a member of a lot of the Super Duty Facebook groups and things like that. And that's one of the reasons that they, uh, they value their opinion on that. So uh, let's take a look at this thing and see. This is one of those sunshades that you put in the windshield. And normally on sunshades, I use Covercraft. Covercrafts are great. The problem is, well, they have two problems. One is they're expensive. So the Covercraft ones, generally you're going to pay around 50, 60 bucks or something like that. And uh, some of these, uh, these ones, like this particular one, I just checked is $28.99 on Amazon. Now, the second problem with the Covercraft is they're big. I'll show you my Covercraft when we get out in the truck and we'll see how this thing fits. And being so large like that, they, um, they're they kind of hard to store when you fold them up. And this is one of those ones that basically you pop out and it rolls up. Now, obviously it's made in China and I'm gonna show you this. This should be what they call the F-I-N-S-K-U, the fin skew for Amazon. If you if the link doesn't work for some reason, you should be able to put in this code and, and search for it. Or possibly possibly that one, but I think it's gonna be this one. And it's sold on Amazon by Proud C Direct. You can see that right there. Proud C Direct. So let's take a quick look at this thing and see what we got. And this is like, y'all have seen this kind of stuff before, I'm sure. These are like the Instant Up Tents was one of the first people to really do this design of things. And since then, there's been a lot of companies that have um, made these little, these pop out, these pop out things. But basically, it unfolds. like this. This one does have some Velcro right here, which is kind of unique, I guess. And then it makes a sunshade. Let me pan out so y'all can see that a little bit better here. And it's got some of the reflective material on it and whatnot. And then when you want it, and this is, <laughs> I've never, um, I've never folded this up before, but I'm thinking that it's probably designed for this part to Velcro around your rear view mirror, possibly. Which I'm not crazy about that. I don't want to have to do another step. But let's go ahead and see how easy it is to fold this thing up again. Usually on these type of things, you take the two sides and fold it into each other like so. And then you go like this. And there you go. Yeah. Kind of like the, uh, if you don't have experience folding this up, it just takes a few minutes of, of, of figuring it out. It's kind of like a pop-up tent. Like I said before, you know, I used to have a little easy up tent that popped up like this, and then it just goes back in the bag. Let's take this out again. You do, I could see that thing bouncing open inside your vehicle. That might be kind of an experience, but, um, Y'all know that I work in manufacturing, and looking at this, uh, the quality's pretty, pretty decent. I mean, it's, um, you know, it's not the highest quality item that you're going to get, but you know, it's only thirty bucks, and as long as it does does the job for what it's designed for, I guess that's all that we're looking for. The material is some type of nylon with. Uh, it looks like they have a fuse, like some type of reflective layer on the back of it. And yeah, I think this is I think this is pretty good. I think this is worth the 30 bucks, you know, based upon what I've seen for different sunshades in the past and whatnot. Now keep in mind I go again, this is one that uh, I have not used. 
So what I'll do is we'll go out in the truck and we'll put this up in the window. We'll see how easy it is to go up and everything. So we will see you in the truck in a second. All right, y'all, you can see right here, this is my cover craft. Now, please don't pay any attention to the fit on the cover craft in this Super Duty. This is actually a cover craft sunshade from my old Toyota Tundra. And when I bought the Super Duty, if anybody who's bought a Super Duty can tell you, they're expensive. And so I didn't want to spend another 50 or 60 bucks when this one works okay um, for the most part. So this is my, my go-to standard. So let, let me show you a closer look at this real quick. All right, so I keep on calling this a cover craft. I'm 99% sure that's what it is. This is the little barcode they have on this. And again, this one was for a Tundra and then it's marked with the UV, UVS thing or something. Hopefully y'all can see that because I've got my phone actually facing me where I can't see the camera. But the way these work is they have kind of like a felt lining on the inside and then they just fold up like so. Ta -da. I've used these for years in all my vehicles and it's one of those uh, buy once cry once type things because like I said they are about 50 60 bucks and you can see this one's uh, this particular one is at least five years old and that's being used every day in Texas heat so let's take a look at this other one we'll see how it works out <clears throat> All right, y'all, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I do have a dash cam up here, and that kind of um, can be a problem sometimes with some of these. And we'll take a closer look at that in a second, but let's just see how hard this thing is to set up and deploy from the driver's seat. <laughs> I could see this thing popping open and hit me in the face or something, but uh, yeah, let's put this up here and we'll... Uh, Not too awful bad. Looks like it's a pretty, pretty decent fit. <clears throat> yeah, that's uh, it's not too bad. Definitely better some of those old cardboard or foil ones that we used to see. But uh, let me grab that camera off the tripod, and we'll show you all a closer look, and we'll take a look from the front side. Okay, so I don't have the sun visors down right now, and I hope I'm not being washed out by the light because I am in my driveway, so to speak. But I did go ahead and hook up the little Velcro piece right here, and that does seem like it helps it out. But you can see, um, it's a pretty decent fit, actually, for some of the covers I've seen. It's about the same fit that the cover pass leaves you are as far as the coverage on the windshield when you have one custom fit for it. And this is custom fit for the Super Duties, but I would put my sunshades down like this to help them out. And yeah, you know, it seems like it's um, a pretty nice little sunshade. How well it works? Well, I don't know for sure, but what I'm going to do is um, leave this up in my truck for today and the weekend probably. Probably, probably I'll just do it today. We'll have a nice, typical hot day here in Texas, and we'll see how it works. But let's take a look at the outside so we can see the fit there. And here's how it looks on the outside, folks. And you can see, yeah, there's a, there's a pretty good gap up there. But overall, I think this will do what it's supposed to do. Rob, you might appreciate that. Being, a, if you're watching this video, being a Kentucky guy. But yeah. All right, y'all, so it's hot in Texas. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but I have uh, used that shade for about um, about a couple of days now. Um, I for, for, used it exclusively, and it's pretty good. It's pretty good. You know, in, in full transparency, I really can't um, tell a whole lot of difference between it and the, uh, the Covercraft shade. I will say that since I'm used to the Covercraft shade, I can deploy it and take it down a little bit quicker. But this new shade uh, is definitely more compact, and that's a big plus because once you fold it down and stuff it inside that little envelope, it uh, it doesn't take up much room at all. 
And uh, there was a little bit of uh, outgassing from the new shade for a day or two. The smells, you know how some of that plastic is when it's new and it's manufactured, it has a little bit of smell to it. But overall, I mean, for 30 bucks, well, $28.99 is what it was today when I when I shot this video, where I shot the first video, it was $28.99. Um, I think it's a pretty, I think it's a pretty reasonable deal for, for that price. I would give it a thumbs up. I think if, if, if it was the only shade I use, I think I would be happy with it. So yeah, I will put a link down in the description of the product on Amazon. And again, they did supply it to me for free for my unbiased opinion review of it. Uh, I thank them for that. I'm not being compensated in any way or anything like that. So let me know what your thoughts are. If you guys have any questions on it, give me a holler. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all take care.